in the hushed serenity of Oak Hollow, nestled between a canopy of towering redwoods and the whispering ripples of Lake Serenity, resided a charming, moss-laden stone cottage. This was the dwelling of Amelia, a gentlewoman known for her radiant smile and wisdom, which often shone brighter than the dawn itself. Amelia was a potter by trade, her hands fluent in the language of clay and fire, creating beautiful works of art that bore the essence of Oak Hollow's tranquility. Her pottery, known far and wide, resembled the organic serenity of her surroundings and carried a touch of her gentle spirit. On this specific day, after a fulfilling morning at the potter's wheel, Amelia decided it was time for her traditional, restorative retreat, a calming bath at Sapphire Springs. Sapphire Springs was a unique spot in Oak Hollow, a hot spring blessed with minerals and reputed for its soothing properties. It was here that Amelia found her sanctuary of serenity. To prepare, Amelia crafted a few essentials. First, she created a new candle using beeswax sourced from the local apiary. She blended it with the natural essential oils of lavender and chamomile, their scents believed to bestow relaxation. As the candle hardened, the captivating aroma gently perfumed the air. She then packed a small wicker basket with a plush towel woven from the softest cotton, a book with tales of distant lands and mystical creatures, and a small earthenware jar filled with honey and oats. This mixture, when combined with the hot spring water, created a soothing bath soak, leaving her skin feeling velvously soft and nourished. Finally, Amelia slipped into a flowing dress the fabric dyed in the colors of the twilight sky, and as soft as the whisper of a summer breeze. With her wicker basket in one hand and the freshly made candle in the other, she set off toward Sapphire Springs. The pathway to Sapphire Springs was a serene symphony of nature. A mosaic of cobblestones lined the way, winding through a vibrant tapestry of wildflowers that swayed in gentle unison with the breeze. The hum of bees, the chittering of squirrels, and the faint melodic warble of a distant nightingale provided a peaceful soundtrack to her journey. As Amelia arrived at Sapphire Springs, the sight before her was breathtaking. The spring was a beautiful natural pool, encircled by moss-covered rocks and a myriad of emerald ferns, steam lazily curled upwards from the water's surface, disappearing like silent phantoms into the twilight. Near the spring was a wooden pavilion made from gnarled oak, worn smooth by time and countless seasons. It held a raised, circular stone platform, upon which Amelia placed her handmade candle. The soft click of the flint ignited the wick, casting a warm, flickering light that danced upon the surrounding surfaces. The scents of lavender and chamomile began to fill the air, instantly creating an atmosphere of tranquility. Carefully, Amelia tested the water with her foot. It was perfect as if the earth itself had crafted the temperature for her comfort. She shed her dress, the fabric pooling around her feet like a soft echo of the evening sky. Slowly, she lowered herself into the warm embrace of the water, a sigh of contentment escaping her lips as the heat began to soothe her body. As she settled into the spring, she mixed the honey and oats in the warm water, the blend instantly turning the clear spring into a nourishing, comforting bath. The steam rose around her, a gentle fog carrying the wholesome aroma of her bath blend. With the book in hand, Amelia began to read, the enchanting stories whisking her away to mystical lands, a pleasant distraction from the world. Around her, the natural world continued its peaceful serenade. The water caressed her skin, the warmth seeping into her tired muscles, soothing them into a state of calmness and peace. Time seemed to slow down, becoming as fluid as the warm water embracing her. She basked in this moment, savoring the feeling of tranquility enveloping her. The warm water, the flickering light of the candle, the captivating tales from her book, and the serene soundtrack of nature blended into a lullaby of relaxation. After a long while, feeling rejuvenated, Amelia emerged from the water. She patted herself dry with the plush towel, her skin tingling pleasantly from the warmth and the honey-oat mixture. With a final, appreciative glance at Sapphire Springs, she picked up her belongings, put out the candle, 
and started her peaceful walk back to her cottage. Back home, Amelia felt a deep sense of relaxation and gratitude. Her cottage, standing humble and inviting, welcomed her back with familiar comfort. As she prepared for bed, the gentle sounds of Lake Serenity's lapping waves served as a sweet serenade, lulling the world of Oak Hollow to rest. With the day's tranquility still lingering within her, Amelia eased herself into sleep. Dreams filled with the soft flicker of candlelight, the nurturing warmth of sapphire springs, and the soothing tales of mystical lands far, far away. And thus, dear listener, another peaceful day in Oak Hollow draws to a close. But as you know, this is merely one of many tales to be discovered in the tranquil harmony of Amelia's life. May you carry the serenity of Sapphire Springs within you as we await the dawn of another tranquil day.